In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, one God, Amen. Back to your program, Faith Capsule, speaking about the Old Testament people and the prophets. They were chosen by God, inspired by the Spirit, to deliver the message of truth, to speak about the coming Savior. But you know, these people were in themselves, were not perfect. They also were dying because the nature of humanity was corrupted. So there is no one can save himself. Everyone is waiting for the salvation, for the Savior to come, even the good people. That's why it came the minute of the coming of God himself. God came to our land in order to solve the problem of his beloved children. As we had said before, God is love. God created man on his image. We are the beloved creatures by him. We are the image of God. We are like sons and daughters of God. So God sent his only begotten son to save men. And in order for the son of God to come to our land, he had to have our human nature. You know, our human nature is different from his nature. He is totally God. He is full of divine nature. So in order to be a man, he has to unite himself, his nature, to the nature of human being. And he had done this miracle through the incarnation. Saint Mary, the chosen girl of all human people, were chosen to be the mother of God because in her womb it happened the unity between the divine nature and the human nature to bring out, you know, one person called Jesus Christ, the Son of Man and the Son of God, just one person of one nature, of two natures, nature of God and nature of man, now in one person. That's very different from anything you know. It's not, he is not only a man and he is not now only a God. He were always he was always God, but now he became man. Became man just for us. It was not a necessity in himself. He needs not to be a man, but we need it badly. We needed him to come to save us. Because he is holy, he is pure, he had no sin in himself. There is no problem in himself. There is no death in his nature. Now he can bring for us the life again. He can bring to us the holy life again. He can bring to us the good life again. So he can share with us his eternal life. So we gave him our human nature with the corruption happened in our nature and he started to give us his pure eternal life through the unity of the divine nature with the human nature in the one man called Christ, the Son of God. He is the Messiah waited by all the prophets of the old uh, covenant. And he is the Savior waited by all human beings because they all suffer from this and no one wants to die. Then he is ready now to redeem everyone. May God bless you all. Amen.